So I remember when we last spoke, you were talking about where it all began with your PhD research and you gave an example about um, trying to park a car um, and moving forwards and backwards at the same time. And that was something that inspired you about quantum computing. You must have seen a lot in your quantum computing career. Where do you see it all heading? You know, not just in terms of timescales, but in the direction that the technology is going. I mean, this is now, um, when I started in 2005, it was a small research group at the University of Sussex and had a lot of people um, uh, doubting whether we could ever build a quantum computer. And, and I think this has changed a lot now. Here in the UK, we have the UK's National Quantum Technology Program with a lot of university really deeply engaging, trying to make this happen. And what we really see is a, is a new emerging industry sector. So we have a whole range of companies working towards this common goal. And so, for example, right now we work with, with uh, vacuum system companies, microwave companies, we also work with Rolls-Royce and, and on applications of quantum computing to, to make aircraft engines more efficient. So, so what I'm saying is this becomes something which is becoming much more relevant, not just for, for a bunch of physicists, but for programmers, for, for people who make all the subsystems that happen. So all of this. And, and, and so I think what we should do is encourage students already to right now start getting into STEM subjects to learn about this in order to really capitalize on some of these new but amazing opportunities which we'll have in, in, this, in this really new industry sector. And I think this is going to be most exciting here in the Southeast and in the greater Brighton area. We're trying to um, create a whole industry cluster and, and working together with the University of Sussex and, and the local councils to, to make that happen. And, and I think this is something what you'll find um, <clears throat> will happen a lot more and you'll see on um, people capitalizing on some of these quantum phenomena, not just for quantum computing, but also for quantum sensing, for example, to understand, the, to measure signals that happens in your uh, brain when, when, when you think about something or to detect pipes underground in order to, to not having to dig up the streets everywhere. So, so quantum technology is actually uh, quite far, broad, and, and, and this is maybe something which is really exciting and, and I think couldn't be a better time to, to, to study physics and um, engineering subjects in order to make these machines a reality.